Hey friend, welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. Here I am, same outfit as last time, and this time we're going to be breaking down a new two minute tip. These tips are so small, but these are oftentimes the tips that just save me big time when I'm editing or shooting and I just make this big of an error. It's so small and it causes me this big of problems. So in this video, we're going to break down HSL curves. These should apply to every editing software that you use, whether it's photo or video. But today we're going to be using DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you the specifics of the HSL curves and a really simple way. It's just gonna be a two minute tip, so I'm gonna show you a really simple way to think about them. And I promise you that this will save you on a color grade very soon, if not already, right now. So let's go ahead and dive into the computer and I'm gonna break down a new way to think about HSL. All right, so we've got DaVinci open now and we are in the curves tab. So I'm just gonna walk through, this is the basic curves tab and I could go through and show RGB, but I'm focused on HSL today and quite honestly, I don't really use the RGB editing, so the curves for editing. So I'm gonna jump right to the hue hue and plot a point on my red and on my teal and that's going to give me a point on all of them. So here it is, this is the tip you came for. This is what you are changing and this is how you are changing it. And that's it. That is as simple as this tip is. So when you see the word hue, just think of color and this is what color you're changing and you are changing, how you're changing it is the color. So you're gonna pick a color, you're going to pick what you wanna change, blue, and you're going to how change it, you're gonna change it to a different color. So when you go downward, it's moving it towards pink, magenta, red, and when you move it up, it's moving it towards green, teal, and this area. So that's basically what's going on here. And then as you go down, you're at hue versus saturation. And when this one is much more clear, I think for most people, you're picking a color and you're changing the amount of saturation. So you just dial it back and that removes most of the red from the image. Uh, and you can two finger click or right click to delete those points uh, and put them back at zero. So yeah, then the next one is hue v loom. And this one is just the color and the brightness. So if you want the red to be brighter, you just lift it up and you can see what happens there. And if you want the blue to be brighter, you just lift it up. And if you want it to be darker, and then on the loom versus saturation, this is just the brightness of the image and do you want it to be saturated. So the sky is brighter, so it's right here. And if you want it to be brighter, you just lift it up. And maybe you don't want the shadows to be very bright, so you saturated, so you lift you push them down. So yeah, that's how you interact with this. Uh, and then the last piece is sat versus sat. So this is the most saturated in your image and this is the least. So if you want, you know, if you want the most saturated part of your image to be less saturated, but you want the less saturated part to be more so, this is how you do that. And it kind of balances out the saturation in your image you can use this both for technical and for styling, um, but quite honestly, I almost never use it. I'm just gonna let my image um, be what it is in, in the saturation, uh, and I'm gonna do most of my work here on these other pieces. So that's it for this tip. The HSL tab can really save your life. Um, someday I'll do a skin tones video. There's a bunch of them out there, but the quickest way I know and I believe to adjust your skin tones is to just drop a point on your hue v hue tab and then drop a point on your hue v saturation and your hue v loom and go to work on the red yellow area and if you can adjust the hue and if you can adjust the saturation and the luminance enough usually you're able to get a perfectly balanced skin tone with the rest of your image using HSL. So that's one application. I hope you put this tip to work. Let me know in the comment section below if you do end up using this. I would love to hear from you. I know that HSL can be intimidating and yeah, I'm, I'm really glad to be able to help anyone. 
who is watching this. And if it doesn't help you, then leave a comment so that other people who come here can be helped. And with all of that said, I'll see you in the next video, friend. Peace.